What's up guys? As a creator, sometimes I come up with an idea and I have these thought processes and I'll put it together. I even come up with a cool name for the character or whatnot. But sometimes a character just isn't fully solid. They're not totally there and it takes a lot more thought so sometimes i'll come up with an idea like years and years earlier and then it'll get up to like this point and i'll start thinking about the character again and i'll kind of start putting the pieces together and today that's what i'm that's what i'm doing with this one character uh, a young lady named gun bunny is that i finally kind of put the pieces together for what i want this character to be now i have to redesign the character because i did come up with a couple shots or couple takes on the character and, and they work they work perfectly fine but i think this this character personally she just needs a redesign that makes her look super unique to her that's what we're going to do today i'm going to go through my redesign process for a character that i have finally fully developed all right now that you know what we're going to do let's get into the video Alright guys, so before we start the design, the redesign process, I kind of need to give you a little bit of background on this character of Gun Bunny. So basically, I came up with this character about four, maybe three, four years ago, maybe five. It's been that long. So it's been that long. It's been about five years or so. I just knew that I wanted her to be super sexy, super violent, able to handle guns, all that type of stuff, you know, the normal stuff. But then I started feeling like, okay, well that just makes her a carbon copy or just a cookie cutter version of a whole bunch of other badass female characters. What's her story? What's what's it going to be? There were other there were a few other incarnations, a couple attempts to put her in a team, and they didn't quite work out for various reasons. So I ended up with the character back with me, and I just kind of put her in the back pocket until I could figure some things out. Well, now that I've had time to think about stuff like this. <laughs> It was time to really develop the character, really come up with some things. So I really started getting the wheels rolling and turning on her, uh, I think about a week or two ago. And what I came up with was a, uh, she's a character that was, a, or she's a person that was illegally worked on. So imagine somebody did the Captain America super soldier program, but uh, yeah, that was against the law. <laughs> You weren't supposed to do that. And she was one of their success stories. What she has right now is um, enhanced strength, speed, agility, a healing factor, fighting hand-to-hand -hand combat, fighting knowledge, uh, knowledge for using several weapons. One of making her one of the deadliest women in the world. That's kind of the impetus for where she's at right now. I have a nice story that is gonna kind of set her up for her new role in this world as a kind of a mercenary bounty hunter type character. And uh, of course, just gotta get it all written. But you know, you know how that goes. Gotta get it written and then uh, get it going. Lately, I really have been thinking about her look because I really was like, how am I going to make her look unique? Some of my other attempts were, while they were good, they just weren't, eh, they didn't have that, that, that. Mm. So I really started thinking about it and then recently as you know, there's a very popular rapper Her name is uh, Megan the stallion. She came out and everybody's gonna say oh well you based off her Well, yeah, especially when she exhibits a lot of the character traits that I would want this young lady to have I want when you when you're developing a character you want them to have traits that you like traits that you gravitate to and then of course character flaws so yeah I think Meg, Meg the Stallion is a perfect muse to base the Gun Bunny character around. So I wanted that youthful, the young energy. I definitely want, I definitely want her to have, the, of course, the the body, the, the the athletic, the athletic build and body and the look. So I think that she, that uh, Meg is the perfect person, not just from a, a, a muse standpoint or a body standpoint, but also in as far as a personality where I can actually like, okay, look at these traits and build from there so there was that i still had the question of her look though and i was just like hmm 
how am I going to get her look to be unique? I think last year I did a design of her where she had braids and I like the braids but I was really thinking about it and I was really taking into consideration a lot of different things and I think I have a couple ideas and when we get to start when I get started drawing the character design I'll kind of go over those ideas and kind of that thought process but so just so you guys know make the stallion is the muse both in build and personality and have a cool backstory now I just need to come with a final design for this character so enough of all this talking let's get into designing the character all right guys so when you're designing the character like a gun bunny or any or any character for that matter always I personally always like to try to figure out what their face is going to look like um, and then I go to figuring out kind of body and and clothes and all of that good stuff so like I said before I've taken some shots at the character before and I have a pretty good idea of what I want her to look like facially face structure wise so definitely uh, those are some th the things that I'm looking for is I definitely want her to have that youthful 20 something look uh, you know and again she's uh, inspired a, a lot of the um, inspiration that I'm that I am taking now from the character or for the character is uh, from a young lady like Megan the Stallion or, or you can you can pick any number of these young um, songstresses rappers uh, that are coming out right now that could, that could pretty much be the muse for it for for this character so again I do want her to have that stunning beauty you know for that attractiveness but I do want her also to kind of have that sense of danger um, bunny has a bit of a high cheekbone I think the best way to put it so I definitely want to highlight that but right now this is just kind of a really happy look for you know but it, she also looks kind of mischievous at the same time which is what I want to want to get I want to get the, the look of a young woman that's that's experiencing and having fun with life but she's still dealing with a lot of um, underlying issues so you know things can things are fun and and all that but it can get real real quick um the kind of the tone for the for the series is sort of a it's a action action comedy uh with some which you know gets serious sometimes um i think that's kind of the best route to go with this particular character so you know good action um, some very funny funny moments but then some also some really serious moments too and um, when uh, when things get serious then you know uh, a character like bunny is uh, is ready ready to, to, to step up to the challenge but she may not know that at first so first things first just kind of establishing her face um, right now not really happy with her nose so I'll make a nose a little bit more petite. There we go. And a little bit more petite. I think that's a better look for her. So give her a more petite nose. I think you know the first nose was a little too round or too just a little too yeah just too a little too large. Uh, make this nose petite now. Since she does come from sort of a rougher background, I've been going back and forth with things like uh, uh, nose rings or something like that, and I'm still going back and forth on that. So uh, I'm not going to make a decision just yet, but because I do understand, you know, that young ladies they they do that type of stuff, or you know, piercings and tattoos. Well, I know she's going to be tatted up. I know that. I'm um, just not sure about the piercings just yet because pierce because the hard thing about piercings is piercings don't translate very well uh, When drawn it just kind of looks like like nose rings like little 
nose ring you put in your nose it looks like a booger on your nose <laughs> there's really no way around it uh, i've tried a billion different ways to make it look different but um i've yet to figure that out so now because she's gun bunny um i already kind of had like again i already have some things developed like she has a nice little bunny six uh, logo um which is kind of which has been cool um and i know i want her to have her hair in braids so what i wanted to do is i wanted to make the braids uh drop down but then wrap back up so it looks like it looks like uh backwards bunny ears so i'm just kind of figuring out a design for her her hair braid wise so i'm just kind of riffing right now but then i want the hair to drop down and then the braids to drop back up so her braids are uh, little bunny ears and i think that's kind of a cool cool um attribute some people might think not i think so so and i think i think i've come up with i think i've worked that out so far yeah i think this is going to work right here because it gives her a nice unique look nobody else is is rocking that look that i know of uh, in, in in comics so that's always cool that something different um it fits with kind of her upbringing you know from a more for from a rough neighborhood type upbringing to to her um experience in the military to her being illegally worked on and turned into this uh super soldier prospect so i think uh i think that's a good i think that's a good look i actually like that look so i'm going to go with a kind of a rock stars type look so we're gonna keep the braids going right I'm gonna shave the side of her head because I think that'll be kind of fun too. Um, so we're gonna stop right there and then um, put the you know, cross hatch the back of her head, the side of her head, and work that down. Oh yeah, that actually kind of works. All right, so I think we've got. At least right now, I've got a good look for her as a person facially for now. Um, I'm still thinking some things out. And while I'm at it, I might as well go ahead and draw out her, uh, her logo. And the logo's been the same for shit, shit, damn near 4 years, 5 years, whatever. So basically, it's, it's a... We're gonna do the one ear up. It's a circle. It's basically a rabbit. One ear up. One ear down. So I'm probably gonna take this this actual drawing into um, Illustrator and trace over it, rasterize it. But this is pretty much her kind of her logo, and I think it's kind of cool. So that's pretty much her logo. And yeah. So so I've got a look now for her. I like the braids, the two braids drop back, look like backwards bunny ears. I got a logo kind of uh, refined a little bit. Looking good looking more rabbit like I think that was a problem when I have had with the logo it, it didn't look rabbit like or it looked like a rabbit but it looked a little too close to some things so I think this is a much better uh, look and the mechanical pencil I'm using is a this is a, a, a draftmatic from Alvin um, 
it's a number nine lead, 0 0.9 lead. Um, so it's a little bit thicker than my normal. Um, it's a little bit thicker than my normal mechanical pencils that I use. But it's a it's a very good pencil actually. Um, it's really on par with the Graph Gear, to be honest with you. Very comfortable to use. It's just a much thicker lead. That's all. To be honest, the main difference is it's a it's a 0 0.9 uh, millimeter lead, and it's just much thicker to use. That's all. But it's actually more akin to a more a common number two pencil. And the lid and the lid's not so so skinny. So who knew those extra millimeters do actually come into play? So I've been using this the last couple of days, and it's a. I, I, if you guys were to get this one, uh, this would be a good pencil to get. So uh, I know when I ink that, if I go with the black version, which I might go with, you know, give it some. Uh, differences from any other bunny logo type deal gotta make sure that that ear is separated other than that this is cool all right so now what I want to do is I want to decide her look body wise and what I think I want her to wear as far as um, as you know what her gear is going to be and that's that's going to be a thought process in and of itself so let's uh, go over to the next page and let's kind of put that process together. All right guys, so now that I've got her facial look kind of determined and I'm pretty happy with how her hair is falling, I now gotta figure out what I want her to look like on a regular basis, what her costume or what her uh, uniform is going to be. And to do that before I even get started, I need to do a little bit of research first so I don't gotta spend a little bit of time on the on the interwebs <laughs> looking at different pictures and coming up with just different ideas and different putting things together just piecing it all together so that I can kind of create this look but that's part of it if, uh, if uh, you're not researching you don't have to do a one-to-one -one copy the copy type deal but at least you want to research and just kind of figure out what your looks are or what your look options are going to be and then once I get those options kind of together I'll put them either I'll either just keep the tabs open or put them in the folder and go from there but you want to at least make sure that you have those options so that's what I'm about to do now just kind of go through uh, make sure I got the options and figure out just in totality what I want gun bunnies look to be so let me get to work all right guys so now that I've got my look kind of determined I actually found some really good examples that I'm going to draw from now it's time to get back to work and kind of go ahead and finish knocking out this design and hopefully I get it right the first time out but I think I've got a I got a really good idea that of where I want to go with her now and this looks about to be fire <laughs> I ain't gonna lie this is gonna be dope so I'm excited so let's get into drawing real quick all right guys so again with um with gun bunny she is a character with um, a deep enhanced military experience so definitely wanted to to highlight that so I did but I also wanted to highlight her sex appeal and her abilities you know well you know her sex appeal and as well as her her uh, enhanced abilities so I was fortunate enough to come across a couple examples of exactly what I was looking for and um I'm not even mad about that so first thing is the idea is kind of this mollet is a uh, this modified military fatigue design that I'm going to go for the first one make sure that the body's right and when I'm just when you design it out of the character I'm not gonna try to go too much into a, a dramatic pose or anything like that I just want a character just want a good standing pose because we're really working out kind of the hitches in the design more than anything my my concern here is the design more than anything else it's not really how great her pose is or anything like that that's one of the reasons why I don't have this uh have this board angled because it's this it's more about nailing her look than having a perfectly uh you know drawn character right now this is all about getting that look down and and being loose and 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 deliberate with what i'm looking for so 
again just keeping it loose drawing out and understanding what the goal is sometimes you're drawing with a purpose or drawing with a goal in mind and you're not drawing just to uh, you know you're not drawing to create the great masterpiece but what you're doing is that you're creating this library information in your brain so that you can create a masterpiece moving forward and that's very important so you know if right now her legs may not be in proper proportion or anything like that and I think they are a little short but it's all good especially in in the case of this right here where I'm really making sure I'm, I've got this design worked out and I think I do I think I really do because I think this is a, a really just it's just just a banging design and I'm, I'm not even mad at it so what it is is kind of this mesh it's kind of a combination it's a, a arm, army fatigue type deal the front half or it's sort of this this kind of this mesh material which is sewn into a camo combat camo material which you know if you've ever if you've been in the military it's a standard BDU it's a it's just a modified uh, battle dress uniform BDU and again the thing is is that this fits a little bit tighter and of course we're drawing we're, we're creating um, larger than life characters so the the, the 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 clothes fit a little bit tighter than they probably would in real life or they kind of hug a hug a couple hug the curves a little bit and you know that's kind of part of the design process so her pants of course are again modified BDU battle dress uniform want to make sure that we have the ability to add additional straps and things like that but we want to keep it with a look um, what I'm going to add is the, the normal the usual knee pad type deal And this is just one of Bunny's looks. This is not going to be all of her looks because part of it is part of her her appeal is that she can you know kind of change it up when when she needs to. But this is will be this will be her main when it, when it's time to go to war look. <laughs> I guess that's what you would want to say when it's time to go to you know. This is her costume when she's got to really put in work. Other times she may be in jeans or something like that, you know, some civilian type attire. Uh, might even have to be in a dress or something like that. Still messing up her nose, so gotta get that right. Get used to that. Mess up her mouth. And this is really just the process as it goes, guys. You just kind of get in there, you kind of do your thing. You kind of take your shots where you can and you see where where you messed up or where where you kind of where your strengths lie with the character and I think this is a, a really good good look for this character all right now she's starting to come together a little bit perfect now go ahead and add the now that's the only one thing I am going to have to consider you add camouflage to a character um, it's hard to keep that consistent so I don't know if I'm going to keep the camo pattern but the actual everything else is pretty much go you know, be the user kind of these we used to have the same when I was in the military she you know she looked good in BDU she looked good in anything so Again, BDUs are kind of these uh, standard battle dress uniform that you've been wearing in the military for years. So I think that's a that's a good look right there. And again, if you notice, I'm not really concerned about being super duper perfect with everything. You know, your my artist OCD kicks in a little bit during this, but 
for the most part, I was uh, I kept it as loose as I possibly could. Um, I know I probably didn't do as well as I wanted to, but I think I did decent this time. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go with the uh, knee pads. They don't really add anything this time. Do I want to do an overlay of some sort of gun rats, gun strap, or something like that? And then you start, and then when you when you're designing these characters, guys, you want to start asking yourself questions like, "Hey, do I want to add this? Do I want to do that? What does this bring to the table? What 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 does that bring to the table?" You want to ask, start asking yourself those questions because you want to start kind of getting the well you want to start getting those not not kindly you want to get those answers really you want to get those answers that kind of uh, that make you get to the next level with 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 the design you don't want to just keep going back and forth you want to start asking yourself questions that make you give definitive answers with this with with the character that you're working on now one of the things I could do is that this is a, I've been considering kind of doing the mask 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 deal can't talk anymore where I'm thinking that bunny will have that this will come up for a mask and I'm thinking that might actually be a good idea so this right this this little tunic right here is really kind of it comes up so she can mask herself when she's going to work and I have a logo on it, which I think would be kind of cool. So I'm definitely going to have to turn the logo into. And shoot, that is cool. <laughs> so yeah, so this little tunic area right here is going to become. It's basically a mask. It'll, it'll come up. She pulls it up whenever she's getting ready to really go to work. That way, she can kind of do what she's got to do, you know. And I think that I think that was a that was just something I was wondering to myself. But yeah, now that I see it, and now that I see it with the logo on there and everything, uh, yeah, that's a go. <laughs> that's a serious go. You, know, you see her bunny ear hair hanging down. Yeah, that's a go. So basically this little tunic right here will pull up and it'll cover her face and then you'll see her little bunny logo on there and that's kind of like her silver bullet that lets you know who she is and what she's about. And if you see this then that's probably the last thing you're going to see as a uh, as a human being on this earth. So we only going to sit so I think we're only going to save that for the uh, when she has to really kind of get real and real ugly with the uh, whoever her villains are going to be and I'm still working that out too the villains in her series and what they're going to be and what they're going to be about but um, they're going to be men and women that are not the nicest people in the world and they probably deserve uh, the horrible fate that might that that she that, that she's going to bring them so yeah now that I see that and now that I see that mask ac action this really really works and when you just couple it with the look right with that look with her look right there yeah works really works love the braids we keep it like I'm not going to go too you know too decorative up top we just want to keep a standard braid look but then of course the drop the two drop down braids or the, the or the bunny ears um, shaved head nice little fade action when she pulls that mask up she's got the bunny logo yeah 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 now we got some now we got something cooking do I want to put the bunny logo on the um, the shirt as well and because and see this is the reason why I'm not gonna go with the camo look because I think we're going to go with a different 
look all together for her. Not all together, but not the camouflage look. I don't want to do camo on this. So I want it to be that BDU uniform look. But not camouflage. And then I'm going to cut this in some too. That mesh. I'm wondering. Because I'm thinking. Color scheme wise. You know, whenever we can go with the, the Punisher explanation that gives people something to aim at since it's body armor. But she has a healing factor, so she doesn't really need a logo on the, on the chest. I think in this case, we want to go logo list on the chest, too. Yeah. We're going to go logo list on the chest. Okay, I think we got it. Now, I think what we're going to do is we're going to do this and that's going to be black. So I can even start adding shadowing to this. This is going to be black. So the bunny logo will be in white on here. This will either be like a burgundy or a pink color. And then of course boots. Now the problem, I think we have designed the character, guys. So yeah, we're good. All right, guys, so I actually was able to get the character designed exactly the way I wanted her to look on the first try, which is amazing. Uh, to be honest it's amazing normally it takes many 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 tries but i think one of the things that worked in my advantage this time was that i had already taken a couple shots at the character so i always already knew kind of things that i wanted to avoid and then things i wanted to bring in and then i really lucked up when i was looking at reference i found this banging banging outfit that 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 just worked perfectly and then i could still add add in some of the modifications that i was looking to make in make with that outfit so no complaints really happy with the look she came out great the pose in the in the initial design is terrible but it doesn't matter because my goal was to really just design her outfit in that case and then when i came up with the idea for the mask with the bunny logo that, that pulls up i thought that was cool and it looked great especially when we went with the the side go with the black and the pink in as uh, the color scheme so I think black and pink is gonna be her color scheme which you know has absolutely no tactical 
<laughs> no tactical relevance whatsoever other than it just looks good but that's also going to go to her being more of a bounty hunter than say for instance a mercenary or a merc for hire so i think that's going to work a little bit better other than that guys i really have no complaints this really worked out and i am super happy so if you guys really like this video please give the video a thumbs up and go ahead and share this all over the internet now if you guys are new here what's up how you doing hope you enjoyed the video go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that you can join the family and kind of follow my exploits moving forward now everybody make sure that you hit that bell icon because that's going to let you know when i put up a new video and we don't have to worry about the youtube algorithm you never want to worry about the youtube algorithm and um if you guys want to get a hold of me go ahead and hit me up on instagram and twitter at dkg72 or you can follow me on my facebook fan page and on my tiktok which is david gordon 72 and if you really like what we're doing with this channel guys the link for my patreon will be in the description below hit that link and go ahead and support me on patreon all right guys it's your boy dkg72 and i'm out Peace.